have here at the moment is actually a completed section. So this is our rock armour, our riprap, which actually protects the topsoil underneath, which sits on top of the plastic. Um, originally this lake uh, just had a, a uh, impermeable layer which holds, it, which holds the water in, uh, with the topsoil on top as a filter layer, and then this rock sits on top just to stop it washing away and being eroded, uh, like wave protection. Um, so this rock is stripped, the topsoil layer is stripped, and then the, the, the underlying uh, soil liner is prepared. Uh, so the actual soil liner that you see in front of you there has been, has been prepared. It's had between 350 and 400 mils of large stones taken off the very top. There's been 250 millimeters of filter material taken off that again, and then, the, and then it's been rolled and prepared and repaired to take this liner. So the guys now are going to pull the are going to pull this down the hill. So they're trying to overlap with the existing panel that's in place so that they have to do least amount of moving around afterwards for the welding. So that's how we place it in the first place and you can see the little yellow welding machine directly here which is now going to do its business. Okay. So you, you can see the seam being yeah. formed on the welding, mm -hmm. welder as it goes along, and that's it. That is the limit of the excitement. So it's actually welded at about 400 degrees. Okay. So you can see what I meant by it's like a little toy train. Uh, we've got approximately 70, or sorry, 65% of the plastic liner is, is installed. Uh, we expect to have that approaching 100% within the next two weeks, uh, which is what was scheduled by the contractor. Uh, we would have at this stage somewhere approaching 25 to 30% of the reinstatement of the topsoil and the riprap rock, rock protection put back in place.